It is January the 16th, 2016. I'm Dana Durnford, also known as the Nuclear Proctologist.org, and you can find my Fukushima presentations at livestreaming.com. Type in Dana Durnford, and you'll see that picture. Hopefully. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Hi, everybody. Let me get rid of that second stream that's going out. So we got the chat room. And uh, Adobe. Shanikan. RWP. Terry Ann. Hi, everybody. And the chat room is always late. I think the chat room and me start at the same time, but it has to go out to you guys and then come back to me before I hear it on my head or my speakers. And then we start that live stream. And so we're going to get a continuation tonight of the last live stream. If anybody's not familiar with it. Uh, this is where we left off a couple nights ago. Uh, this was Fisheries and Oceans 2013. Look at that pretty little bruiser right there. So 137 is a tracer. And all the other radioactive elements have to be there also. And they don't bother talking about that part, right? That's too inconvenient for everybody. So that was the last headline we left off on. 129, right. Let me reposition my big fat head somewhere where it's not as big or as fat. <laughs> don't mind me, I'm just making fun of myself. Let me clean myself up a little tiny bit. Yeah, Dana, there's a start. Clean yourself up, Dana. <laughs> I'm talking to the new uh, nuclear PR firms. Anybody's not familiar? Why I, I have those connotations sometimes? There we go. I'm still trying to work on it. Give me a minute. It's a freaking stupid amount of work. But anyway, I done 129. We'll just tap on that. I am thirst. Jenny, Alex, Jan Brooks, Miss Milky the Clown. One folks. Real life celebrity right there, folks. This person never stops. Jan never stops. Jan doesn't sleep. She doesn't eat. She doesn't breathe. She gets it all from two showers a day. Her whole substance is two showers a day, and she can go 24 hours. It's like an energy bunny, like that little rabbit you used to see. Ding, 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 ding. Jumping around. Always in a good mood. Always happy. Always, always doing shit. Okay, I'm kind of got to... <laughs> Jen's like, Dana, don't make me into a fable. I can't hold up to that one. No, unfortunately, I know people find that hard to believe that, but she really doesn't sleep. She doesn't sleep. She's been at this for 300 years, like myself and many other people. Hehehehe. <laughs> Radiological wrist, a growing radiological wrist, feeding 0.7 million years. That's 15.7 to you. Don't speak no finese. Yeah, I didn't think, I don't think everybody speaks that language. Most people should, though. It makes more sense than a gibberish called English. Traveling along with Iodine 131. Now there was, why? Why is that important? Because we know there was 20 million in a liter of rainwater over North America, including Canada, by Simon Fraser University. Uh, March, April, April, I think it was, they, they released that data. And then they, they zipper it up after that one, tell you what. But that is out there, right? And so, 20 million uh, atomic decays. That's 20 million cancers if you're distributing it out. In a liter of rainwater. Does rain fall by the liter? Does it turn to fairy dust tomorrow? Well, no, because there was 31 times more iodine 129 with it. Plus everything else under the sun. You can't even imagine. How wicked. Hi, Kate. How wicked these people are. Hi, Adam. Frank. I got them because Jan said hi to him. Hi, hi Lane, which is Shanikin, folks. Anybody's not familiar? Fukushima's not under control. It has alarm bells going off on the West Coast. Now, I know the headline for tonight's video is, Hello? Eating Fukushima, or eating anything out of the Pacific Ocean is a death sentence. 
Like, if you want to go ahead and eat it, that's, that's up to you. But don't make your child eat it. Don't make your friends eat it. Don't suggest they eat it. Don't get a job telling people to eat it, like you, Vic, and Woods Hole. <laughs> but if you feed that to your child, that's child abuse. If you feed that to your child and the child gets cancer, you got no one to blame on you, Vic, and Woods Hole. <laughs> and yourself. <laughs> I couldn't resist that one. <laughs> it's a private joke. <laughs> For anybody who hasn't been following this. <laughs> I'll tell you about it later. Former official, I'm humiliated. Japan lied to the world about how much contamination is entered in the Pacific. I guess humiliate it is a pretty good word. It's okay to jump on that sword, you go right for it, but we'll we'll get a we'll put a poster up on my wall. I'll put a wall there for you with your poster on it if you do that for us. Nuclear material is polluting ocean. Polluting. With polonium, plutonium, americium, neutonium, and uranium. But the reactors run on uranium plutonium, but they create all these other isotopes. They're man-made. They're man-made. Nothing on the planet has ever encountered it before. And they're dangerous. That's why we have terrorist laws. That's why we have nuclear security. But a billion for each place. Forever. we got to have security there for the next couple of million years. There's some good free carbon there. And think about Fukushima. Just in the Fukushima prefecture was 9 million one-ton bags. Oh, no, it's carbon-free, Dana. And those bags, like Lane said last time, are not going to last very long, are they? Fukushima spillage. Yeah, there's a good, there's a new word. Spillage. I didn't like it. I like hammering. Fukushima's constant, endless, perpetual hammering machine. Spillage affects the life of the world ocean, the world, the whole world. You've probably never seen the world before. You probably think it's flat. You probably want to know it's flat people. Or you want to... Let me move back. Or sideways. Or somewhere besides right where I'm toe. And let's talk about the world. Yes, the world. Yeah. So this is a couple of tracers, iodine, and cesium. This is NOAA. It's based upon 40 days releases. We're uh, not halfway into that 40 days. We're like 10 days into the release. It's all over North America, yeah. But just remember that this release is not based upon the three melted reactors. They're based upon venting from number two. They didn't include the fuel pools, which are many reactors, many, 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 many. All the reactors that they use every 18 months or so go up onto the roof and to the fuel pool. And the roof's not there no more. And the fuel pool is not there no more. And no, they didn't take it out. Uh, earthquake and a tsunami took it out. So now you're looking at 40 days. Boom. I'm going to stop it right there. Now, just because it only went 40 days, do you think it just like, okay, it's all gone. All good. All, everybody come out of their bunkers. Because the model is only based upon a single release from a single reactor for just a couple of days. It's not based upon the perpetual motion machine that is in motion down there right now. Remember, Chernobyl only lasted 10 days. Chernobyl was one third the size of any of the reactors. Chernobyl was a 30% meltdown. Chernobyl, after 10 days, was equal to 400 Hiroshima bombs, but it turned into an elephant foot. Fukushima never stopped. Fukushima, four full meltdowns. We've never even seen a full one on the planet. This thing is unbelievable. Chernobyl, once again, was one-third the size and a 30% meltdown. It was graphite. Fukushima, they're using MOX fuel. Fukushima, you get a free home if you're pregnant. Chernobyl, which was a candlestick, is still abandoned. Chernobyl, a million dead. Fukushima, they say nobody died. But we got over 300 police officers died. 4,800 workers now known to be dead. Good old-fashioned gamma ray and x-rays. <laughs> Hang on. I gotta get it because it doesn't, not supposed to ring. Hey, buddy. Hi, streaming. How you doing? You got Jason's flu? 
Okay. Terry says hi, everybody. <laughs> In case anybody was wondering what's going on there. So you're not feeling good? Okay, well, let me know. Yeah, I don't want Terry. I don't want Jason's flow. <laughs> okay, buddy. We're live streaming, so I'm not going to take off. Good stuff, Terry. Yeah, okay. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao. Terry got a real bad flu. Put Jason in the hospital a few days ago. I'm just going to stay away. Don't want none of that stuff. <laughs> okay. Back on the game, Dana. Get on the game. Dana. 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 Where are you too, Dana? Okay, here we go. Kate says, hi, Terry. Shani Ken. Hi, Terry. Everybody. <clears throat> Nobody can't confirm or deny their locations. No, nope, that's right, officially. I can confirm it. It's all over North America. <laughs> I just showed you the model. <laughs> Fukushima spillage. Growing concern over worker shortage at Fukushima Daiichi by government and TEPCO. Now, I get the clip there somewhere. I can probably find it if I tried really hard. So give me, entertain me for one moment, please. Let me see if I'm good enough. No, me no good enough. I don't recognize the clip. Oh, so. Let me see how this one plays out. Yeah, no, that's not it. How is it? Hang on one second. It's probably not there. Yeah, it's not there. Yeah, it's too bad. I'll just double check. Here's Jacqueline, um, Jacqueline Yates, Yance. She's from MIT, I think it was. She was an expert. Let's try that for just out of curiosity. She's gonna tell you that, I'll turn the volume up really loud, so don't be surprised if it all goes to shit, okay? Um. Okay, the volume's already really loud. So it's not going to be perfect, but uh, she's going to tell you that all the radiation dose uh, calculations are based up on a single one minute of exposure. I can show you Dr. Raymond Gilman, hey, he can tell you a few things too. And I will in a little tiny bit. Here we go, let's play that. Possibly on the phone, although I don't see a phone, uh, 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 Jackie Yansh, who's in Spain. Jackie, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Fantastic. Uh, <laughs> until last year, Jackie was a professor uh, in the Department of Nuclear Science and Engineering. She continues to be affiliated with us, and she's a specialist on radiation health effects. I'm here. I'm sorry, I didn't quite get the question. Uh, the question had to do with what are the prospects for long-term contamination in the area around the reactor? I think that was the question. <laughs> In terms of the amount of release or the consequences of of a release, I mean, there's been very little that seems to have been uh, released and dispersed uh, beyond the containment. Now, unfortunately, we have very little data, almost no data, about how much radiation we can live with at, at in terms of elevated background levels. All of our data come about the health effects of radiation come from a situation in which all the dose is delivered in uh, less than a minute. And less than a minute. Okay, so she says there's no data. Meet Dr. Raymond Gilmetty. That's puppy murderer. Now, Dr. Raymond Gilmetty from Loveless Respiratory Research Institute he killed beagle dogs and beagle puppies for 35 years. So I don't know what MIT is talking about, but they're not, they're not being forthright or honest already. These models, 1989, shows that it kills the dogs. Uh, Dr. Raymond Gilmetti's study in 96, 144 beagle dogs, and they inhaled one particle, one of two different sizes. Now, but that's just one study out of 94 studies. But you got to remember, there's many Dr. Raymond Gilmetti's out there. But what the study showed was that all the dogs died of cancer. 93, after three years, 
Well, 1.5 to 5.4 years before he died, tumors of the lung skeleton and livers occurred. Read the last sentence at the very bottom. These findings in dogs suggest a dose-related biological effect could be expected in humans. So why was MIT lying on March the 16th in 2011? That's when that clip I showed you. Because the models are well known. And their job, and like he said, she's, she's a partner with MIT at that time. And then he never corrected her. He said, no, no, there's people like Dr. Raymond Gilman all over the place, bitch. What are you lying to everybody for? He said, no, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Jacqueline. Right? That's why, that's why your university is so twisted. That's why you can't trust them. You can't do anything with them. You can't go near these people. They're running out of homeless. I mean, they put a bulletin, send us people who don't mind dying. Hey, Terry, got the flu. Elaine, yeah, you're right. Bad one, too. I don't want it. U.S. bans agriculture and fishery products from 14 prefectures in Japan. Had his ball joint come off his car when he's dropping his woman off at work two days ago. Could have got killed. In Japan, uh, 6 o'clock in the morning, man. Tough stuff, I tell you. Top newspaper concern over contamination is spreading to most countries around the Pacific. Well, the ocean currents are real, yeah? I know, I know that's a novel, novel, real novel kind of, um, it's a novel idea, but those, those ocean currents are real. And in 45 days, a single release looks like that, because that's what that model is. That's based upon a single release, but that's based upon six years. But the model was only a couple of days releases from a single reactor from venting. They'd never mentioned at that time anything about melted reactors. We know number two is all gone now. And the model only includes two tracers. It doesn't include the 2,000 isotopes we're worried about or the 10,000 classified ones that we're worried about too. And that in Japan, they, they were using mixed oxide fuel which is where they reclaim plutonium and uranium from missiles that had already went through a chain reaction. We're already unstable. We're already two million times worse than in their original worst refinement state before they went through a chain reaction. So when you put something through a chain reaction, it's two million times worse. So if you put it through again, it's two million times again. Why are we doing this to the children of the world? 27,000 uh, children starve to death every day. That is unbelievable, see? That's, you know, Bill Gates is out there trying to cure 600 a year from getting polio. Meanwhile, there's 27,000 starving to death every day that he could have, could be cured because they're just dysentery, diarrhea, and pneumonia could be cured with salts. 27,000. I made a video a while back, we should give them all cell phones, but then every day there'd be 27,000 cell phones in the stack ringing because the kids were gone. Not that they had anybody looking for him. But Fukushima is worse than that. It takes a while for it to show up, but it's already killed the Pacific Ocean. It already killed the coastal uh, marine life, the animals, the birds, the insects, the spiders. It already wiped out the ice pack in British Columbia's mountains. That's been there. It takes a thousand years for that stuff to return. That's why all the lakes and rivers and estuaries uh, the trout and the salmon all failed. They couldn't get up back up the river because there was no water coming down. And there was no water, cold water, like it is for millenniums to regulate the temperatures of the lakes, the rivers, the estuaries. Anything left in the ocean, because like anybody that's not familiar, um, we've done 260 days on the ocean. I'll just cover that very quick so people can kind of wrap their mind around it. We've done 260 days, uh, 15,000 miles. The arrows are just representations of areas that we covered extensively. And those pictures are up at the, um, up at the nuclearproctologist.org. Uh, so these pictures are pre-Fukushima. That's post-Fukushima. Post-Fukushima, pre-Fukushima. There's a quick bullet with that because you really, really 
really truly got to understand this this is uh we we are in desperate times we are in a struggle for life pre fukushima post fukushima pre fukushima post fukushima post fukushima there right pre fukushima post fukushima these are pictures i took these pictures the post fukushima they're all from the same spot louise narrows and the Goy. this is uh, one of the few birds I saw, the eagle, in Louise Narrows, and there's nothing there for him to eat. There is nothing on that beach. That's the zodiac, the little zodiac. And there's nothing there. That's a super low tide. It's a 0.9 inch tide. It was a super moon, right? That was earlier this year. We done 260 days on the coastline. Instead of the shoreline being scary. It's friggin' naked. Instead of being healthy and gorgeous and full of life everywhere you went, it's lethargic. It's completely dead, covered in slime at best, and not no rich slime or nothing, but when you think about there used to be 85 of these, 75 of them to 85 per square meter. There'd be 500 of them per square meter. And now there's nothing per square meter. Nothing per square meter. Nothing per square meter. Instead of a rich, healthy, unimaginable, incredible environment, sorry, is nothing. Zero. Instead of being rich everywhere you go and you got to be careful wherever you tread, is you can, there's nothing to look at. There's nothing to take a picture of. There's nothing moving. There's nothing crawling. There's nothing reproducing. There's nothing clinging there. Right? That's pre Fukushima. That's same spots. Right, look at it. It's just gone. No longer the jewel of the country. Now it's banished to whispers. Nobody wants to talk about it. This is an extinction event because four million other species didn't recede the coastline. Four million species did not recede that coastline. That's you can never you can never get that back. FDA, U.S. bans agricultural and fishery products from 14 prefectures in Japan. Let me see if I can find that. Hi, everybody. Let me see if I can find that. <laughs> I got too much shit on my computer today. Let me see how this works out. Yeah, I'm not going to follow it. Probably not going to find it. Hang on a second, though, because if I can find that, it'd be pretty cool. Um, yeah, no. Uh, oh, well. What it is, is those 14 prefectures, if you go look up the story anyway, and you start hunting down the story, you'll find out there was other countries that had similar bands in different prefectures also. <coughs> and so everything south of Tokyo, for instance, all of these prefectures, including around Tokyo, were banned from other countries by 2013 for extended periods. And then all the countries said, you know what? We're just going to poison everybody. We don't care. And now the EU is going to let Fukushima food into the EU countries. It's the stupidest thing imaginable. It's murder. That's murder. And so what they're trying to do is accelerate the dead die-offs so there won't be too much resistance so they can, can try and, and can tr um, try and keep their power structure alive for a little bit longer. Stuttering as we go through here now. I'm going to have one more little boot. Yeah, I got too much crap on my computer. Who knows what I got, man. I got too much. I just want to find that because that would be cool. No, didn't work. 
Okay, we'll give it up. Give it up anytime you're ready, Dana. Just click on something, Dana. Make it all go away. There we go. Hi, to everybody. Let's keep moving, shifting, shaking and a grooving, ruling and a ruling. Hi, CJ. Enters, Frank. Alex. Jen. Purple Jim, that's me. Mr. Guess. Atom. Shani Khan. Make me all stabby like Alex or <laughs> Atom. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep going, keep moving. Half an hour into it. So there's no product left on the coastline. Still looking fantastic. And I, I'm incredible. These are the same spots, right? We've done that whole coastline. 15,000 miles of it. 15,000 miles of it. And a little dinky. And I couldn't have been more proud, more happy that we had done that. And it's finally done. And that we were producing a documentary got arrested for doing this so they can slow down the documentary but that kind of blew back up in their face I'm gonna have a cigarette it doesn't have 7,000 chemicals so shut your pie hole if you don't like it <laughs> oh Dana's abusing the people on his website I can see the headlines are turning out don't forget to chop out everything else that says you wicked little demons keep going Oh, to be normal. U.S. bans agriculture. But if you go looking it up anyway, and you take each one of the prefectures, right, it's everything south of Tokyo. <laughs> They're going to ship it all over to EU countries now. we got to have a war crimes tribunal to deal with all these people. There's enough dirt to employ a couple of million people. There's so many evil things going on here. Radioactive forests, a permanent risk, must be cut down. Every gust of wind, showers. I know we covered that headline last time, but I put it in there twice, I remember. So I'm going to do it twice. Every gust of wind. So if you decontaminate your town, <laughs> as if that could be done, because it permeates into everything. Surge in radioactive season levels. Oh, yeah, we covered that one. Causes incinerators near Tokyo to shut down. I got a whole bunch on incinerators we're not going to get to again. Um, half of the Japanese women tested had iodine 131. Well, he would have had 10 times more 132, 30 times more iodine 133, 31 times more iodine 129 with a 50 million year half life. So it aggregates the women's breasts and the ionizing radiates the milk that they're feeding their children. So it's an, it does that with mammals and animals too, right? So it's an insidious, insidious... Nuclear is just insidious in every sense of the word. It's, it's wicked in every sense of the word. There's nothing good about nuclear. Zero. Hundreds ill after Fukushima nuclear plant rubble burned in major Japanese city. Nose bleeds, eyes, throat, skin. Government. Radiation levels were low enough to be safe. String them up. It's legal over there. It's legal. They hang them in Japan. Don't have a seizure. Don't defecate over yourself because Dana said hang them. <laughs> well, a global male kills me of death threats. The biggest media in Canada. But I'm charged with criminal harassments and nuclear pukes that don't got a leg to stand on. I'm not going to be withdrawing my comments for anybody. But they're burning it, not just in Tokyo. Now we got to get rid of Tokyo. They're burning it all over Japan. They're taking the radioactive stuff that they say they're decontaminating, cleaning it up, bringing it somewhere else, and burning it in the incinerators. You can't get rid of radiation even at seven, 8,000 Fahrenheit temperatures. You can't kill it. We don't know how to get rid of it. That's why we have terrorist laws. That's why we have nuclear holding sites. 
That's why there's no such thing as a nuclear waste site. We don't know how to control it. It shouldn't be on the planet. These people shouldn't be on the planet to get me on the way they won't be. Genetic passports. You pass it on to your children. It destroys your DNA, the chromosomes. It mutates your stem cells in your pelvis. It has deformed genes. Twins attached by organs growing outside their bodies. one eye cyclops. Babies with joints, heads. They respond to people around them. Who's going to take care of them? Who's going to love them? Who's going to cherish them? Who's going to raise them? Who can afford to do that? The nuclear industry is carbon free. Too cheap to me there. You want to smack them in the mouth every time you hear it. Every time I hear it now, I want to smack one of them in the mouth. High temperature incinerator. I'm allowed to say that as a Canadian. It's a political hyperbole. I'm not going to change the way I talk because a handful of freaks, of traitors, of seditionists in our country are prosecuting me. I'm not going to change my narrative or the way I talk for people like that or anyone else. Otherwise, the terrorists, these are terrorists, the terrorists win. Woods Hole is terrorists. The University of Victoria is terrorists. The police department in, in Victoria, British Columbia, Canada, in Saanich, a private police department, are terrorists. These are terrorists. These are carrying out terrorist operations against our loved ones and our friends and our families. These are terrorists. Every sense of the word. For real, these are terrorists. They lied to you. They manipulated you. They deceived you. They talked you into not worrying about being in the danger. They talked you into eating the food that was contaminated. They done it on purpose. They done it as a conspiracy. They had me arrested as a conspiracy to smear me. That backfired on them. High temperature incinerators. Buildings on site of Fukushima across from the incinerating workshops. Fukushima plant will burn radioactive waste. This is a fucking terrorist. Oh, we're worried about getting a terrorist getting a gram and making an impoverished device, but it's okay for these fucking er idiots to burn it in the incinerators. Do you know how long it takes to come over here? Do you know what they're burning, how much of it? Do you understand how wrong this is? How twisted this is? How demented these fucking people are? How vile and despicable and disgusting and loathsome that these people really are. Still not as bad as Ian Gerter, though, or James Colbert. Japan burned Fukushima debris 10 miles from the Diachi. That's in the Daini. Already had four meltdowns. 88% of cesium and radioactive ash might be at risk of being transported away from Japan landfill. Of course it's going to get... Con Every time it rains, it snows and convection and evaporation. Even due in the morning, you know. Reports from Japan radioactive fallout from Fukushima incinerating plants being hidden. It's odd. No, it's not odd at all. Anybody got an incinerator in the community? You all do. Would anyone of you buy a house next to one? No. Would any of you be happy if you bought one and then all of a sudden they were fucking burning man-made radioactive materials and telling you, we don't want the terrorists to get hold of us and we're going to burn it. Release it into your community because we don't want the terrorists to get it and release it into your communities, into your ocean, into your environment, into your atmosphere into your stratosphere, into your children's play areas, into your children's toys. Um, this entire city of 300,000 people had radiation levels high enough to get contaminated, decontaminated by government. You have to peel the skin off everybody. You have to peel the skin off everybody. Let's start with all the nuclear employees. Japan to burn drums of unprocessed, unprocessed, unprocessed radioactive waste from the accident 
They're going to burn the fuel rods. You're going to tell me that's not terrorism. You're going to tell me they're not terrorists. You're going to tell me that all the who hide that the terrorists are going to get their hands on a couple of grams is any comparison to these fucking things. These fucking traitors. These cowards. These cowards. These cowards. These are cowards. These are the lowest form of life. You can't get any lower than these people. You couldn't even try. There's no way to get lower than that. There is nothing you can do that is lower, unbecoming, a, unremorseless. 300 times more radiation being released into the atmosphere from burning debris and claimed by the government. They're burning millions of tons. It's a nuclear accident all day just from that going off. We're not even talking about the reactors. We're talking about what they're up to. Is the government trying to contaminate every region of Japan by burning radioactive debris? And if everyone is contaminated, then in a relative sense, everyone is contaminated. They found plutonium in every sample. Every sample. Every sample. But there's people out there in the nuclear PR firms that are sitting there listening to everything I'm saying. Jerking off the pictures of Uvic and Woods Hole people. And they're waiting for me to say something that they can chop out and sell it to be used to smear me later. They're looking for me to make a mistake because they know everything I'm saying is true. But they're waiting for me to make a simple mistake so they can chop it out. There's probably a hundred of them out there all over the world working for nuclear PR firms. And that's their job is to hunt is the predatory hunters of uh, people like me. They haven't got much uh, opposition, so they focus in on the people that's getting any traction. And that's what they're doing to me. They know everything I'm saying is true, but they want to find a little mistake so they can clip them together and then try to make me look silly or stupid or something. And they're doing that for a paycheck. They don't tell their loved ones what they're doing. They don't tell their little friends and families what they're up to. They don't tell their, their confidants they don't tell anybody what they're really doing. But they go to work with each other and they laugh their asses off over how many children they gave cancer. These are nuclear PR firms. There's a couple of thousand of them out there. Their job is to smear people like me. Their job is to come up with campaigns to wreck people like me. Their job is to attack everybody in my family. Their job is to attack everybody that I covet or I love. So that you can understand the truth. Oh, he smokes cigarettes. You can't listen to Diddy. He smokes his cigarette. I got seven. I don't have 7,000 chemicals in my cigarette. Do you and your friends and your loved ones and your kids? Yeah. Nothing wrong with tobacco. A whole lot wrong with 7,000 chemicals in them, though. Who woke up one morning and said, Hey, I got it. 7,000 chemicals in the tobacco. How could we fuck them over any worse than that? 100 pickles a kilogram of cesium is nuclear waste before Fukushima, after, safe to eat. So whoever made that decision, you got to find out who that was. Right? Change the laws and get them hung. Change the laws and get them, throw them in jail. Preferably, change the laws and get them hung. As a deterrent to all the pieces of shit out there that are saying it's like a banana and a potato chip and walking the sunshine. And we got thousands of videos of people doing that. For the nuclear PR firms to confuse you, to deceive you, to manipulate you and your friends and your families and your loved ones so you can't even have a conversation. So you can't even talk to each other. So you can't even listen to people like me. I asked the government to kill me. It's better to be dead than alive these days. Fukushima will start burning radioactive waste, 100,000 beckles a kilogram to be incinerated, liberated into your communities, into your oceans, into your rivers and lakes and estuaries and streams and mountains, into your communities and your schools. And that comes right across the ocean three or four days. Trans-Pacific. Pollution comes over, forest fires comes over. That's way bigger pollution than this stuff. This stuff is one ten thousandth of a millionth of a meter. Divide a meter into a million. 
Divide that by one uh, ten thousand and take one of them. And die of cancer later. There's eighteen hundred autoimmune deficiencies will show up before the cancer. Alzheimer's, dementia, diabetes, liver, lung, respiratory, pituitary, heart, kidney, ovary, breast cancers. Some cancers will show up. They got one billion pounds, one billion pounds. They're gonna kill you, sure as shit, man. These people are gonna kill you. No one will hold them accountable. I don't have the ability to hold them accountable. I don't have the power, right? I'm just an impoverished. I wouldn't say that, I suppose, but I'm just. I'm just. I'm. I'm just one person. And all I can do is come out and tell the truth, and hopefully, some people will flip over to the right side. I don't know if I'll ever trust anybody from the nuclear industry ever under any circumstances. If I was fucking drowning, and they threw me a rope, I wouldn't take it. You work for the nuclear? Yeah, fuck you. I'd rather drown. Massive radioactive waste buildup in Tokyo suburbs. Over capacity. Disposal of quake debris begins in Tokyo to be burned in Koto. Radiation fears will continue for years, a billion pounds. The radiation filter through the country still coming out of those reactors. Still going into the ocean, still going into the atmosphere. It'll do that till you had very end of time. No one wants to recognize the fuel pools were on the roof. No one wants to recognize they're gone. No one wants to recognize the reactor cores. Everybody wants to live in a fucking fantasy land. Everybody thinks, la, 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 la. I'll ignore it. It'll go away. You guys are crazies. It's not going to harm anybody. No, that's why we got all the terrorist laws. That's why we got all the nuclear waste sites, holding sites. That's why we have the Dr. Raymond Gillum at eight killing big old dogs and big old puppies for 35 years and all the tumors and all the cancers, 444 dogs, 93 of them, most common cause of death, bone tumors. No, no, that's not real, Dina. Dina, you make that up this Photoshop, Dina. <clears throat> Talk to your neighbor. Cesium approaching levels found in Fukushima. Chiba incinerator dust, the dust, was let, but never floated away, was 70,000 beckles a kilogram. <laughs> Fuck, man. Just blowing it all through the communities. We don't care about you. We got a job. We get $16 an hour. We got free dental. Fuck you. Right? That was happening here in Canada. <laughs> I'm not going to go there. It wouldn't be pretty, trust me. It wouldn't be burning into my fucking incinerators. I put an end to you very quick. High levels of radioactive materials found in Tokyo. 170,000 beckles a kilogram in the slag. Tokyo. Tokyo. They made it all the way there and everything in between it is contaminated beyond imagination. Beyond anything you can comprehend. They don't decontaminate it, they blend it, they put they mix it in with deeper soil. They don't fucking do nothing. Five thousand nuclear plant workers suffer an internal radiation. Internal. These are dead people walking. Incinerating radioactive material can contaminate the environment. Gee. What? Really? Wow. You come up with that all on your own, did you? Huh? Did you? Well, you're so clever. Radiation is coming to the Tokyo. See, you got forced to resign, but I just showed you all the headlines. I just showed you the proof. But you're not allowed to tell the people. You're not allowed to tell the people the truth. So we're gonna, you gotta resign. We'll give you a big friggin' paycheck. Keep your mouth shut. So you don't have to go starving on the side of the road and sell your story to some tabloid. Iodine-131, 10 times more 132, 30 times more 133, 31 times more iodine-129 with a 15 million year half-life. Press was watching as the government dumped the radioactive waste in Tokyo Bay. And if you read through that one, you find out they were doing that for like two and a half years. 
or two years or whatever as you follow through with it. You'll find out that you didn't stop doing it is what I'm saying to you. Press watches as the government dumps it. Radioactive iodine found in Guma at three sewage plants. Possibility of a recriticality. It never stopped. It never stopped. Sharp rise in iodine-131 at the sewage plants. Everybody's pissing out the iodine. That only got an eight-day half-life. But there's uh, 31 times more iodine-129 with a 15 million year half-life for every iodine-131. And for every cesium, you see 230,000 there, there was 100 times more strontium-90, so 2.3 million of strontium-90 in that same spot. On an athlete's field, where your children are going, six times as high as the limit set for radiation control areas in Tokyo. And so we lost the Pacific Ocean, like I showed you earlier. The four million other species didn't recede the coastline. How bad do you think Japan is going to be in another two or three years when all this diseases and autoimmune deficiencies manifest themselves? Cancer is the last one to show up. Everybody's out there shoving cancer down your throat. Oh, still no cancer. <laughs> That's the game, right? Yeah, Dina, I don't see cancer showing up. I don't see anybody dying for cancer, Dina. Cancer's the last one to show up, buddy. Highly radioactive sewage. <laughs> Gee, I wonder where that shit's coming from. No pun intended. Cesium levels up to 334,000 becquels in your shit per kilogram. And there's 100 times more strontium 98. <laughs> Excuse me. Almost a million becquels more times, I'm sorry, almost a million times more radioactive fallout in the soil than there was in 2009. So there's a million times more there than it was when they had studied it in 2009. And that's a low estimate. Now we've seen a million per square meter here, Beckwell's atomic decays per square meter for North America. I'm not gonna go through those uh, studies right now, but like a lot of things, it's better sometimes just to keep moving. Tokyo's third highest cesium levels of all testing locations throughout Japan, Tokyo. Home to millions and millions and millions. Yeah, they lost Tokyo. They just didn't bother moving out of there. They were going to move the government out, right? 200,000 of them or something. 50,000 slaves. And, of course, their families and their friends and their loved ones and their cronies. Tokyo, oh, Tokyo. Radiation precaution for areas near Seattle, Vancouver, Portland. Perhaps you need to wash your shoes. No, you need to throw them away. That's, that's the reality, see? That's the vicious, unimaginable, bitter reality. Nine million bags, four little buildings. Four little buildings. You want to see them? Do you? Really? That's unit one. He had a meltdown. That's unit two. He had a meltdown. That's unit three. Look at unit one. He blew up and had a meltdown. This is unit four. Unit four does not look like that on the inside. Doesn't look like that on the inside. It looks like that on the roof, right? You see, you see the the edge there where everything is blown out on that side where the crane is. Right? Look at that roof section. Now, how could you get it to look like that on the inside? Why is mainstream media showing you that? Why did Seth Dorn from CBS come out and say he was in there, in Unit 4? When we know what Unit 4 looked like after the detonations, it looked like that. So how the freak could you have that and then say it's like that? Because these are the worst sacks of shit the planet has ever known. That your media is the worst thing imaginable. Well, unless you compare it to that guy. The media doesn't even do that. Media is not even doing that. They're not even looking. They're not looking. They don't care. They're too busy painting you that picture. 
and they're too busy making people like me telling you the truth, saying that I'm actually like that. Think about Chernobyl. Chernobyl, 600 of these helicopter pilots died. It was one third the size. It was a 30% meltdown. It stopped after 10 days. It was equal to 400 Hiroshima bombs. 400. The Guardian, right? Uh, the third sentence down. I'm not sure if you can see that. I can make it bigger, bigger. Third sentence down. For the next 10 days, beauty equivalent to 400 Hiroshima bombs. 400? Uh, now, but Chernobyl. I got that screwed up. Hang on. Chernobyl, they sprayed regions to aggregate with the radiation, knock it back down. They're still doing that. We call it chemtrails. But that's what it is, right? Another version of chemtrails. There's no such thing as chemtrails, Dina. Freaking conspiracy theorists. Really? They done that over Vietnam for nine years with Agent Orange. What the fuck do you call that? Huh? So on April the 6th and 7th, forecast showed um, radioactive fallout right over North America, all the way to Newfoundland, Boston, California, right across, right across the entire continent. See? CC 137 plume forecast. That was Francis. I can cover some of that if you want. You want to like that kind of stuff, do you? You want more? Didn't he give you more? Yo, me, more forecast. There's some models to think about. Anytime you're ready, Dana. People can't see it if you don't put it up there, Dana. Okay, I'm trying, man. Uh, how about this one? Australian forecast. How about this one? This was by uh, the Norwegian Institute for Air Research. We just showed you that one, I think. This one was by the Eurorad Project, the Rhinds Institute, University of Cologne. The radioactive fallout by France, radioactive fallout by Norwegian again, radioactive fallout uh, studied by the Hiroshi Key University. No, Dean is not real, Dean, he's making it all up. And iodine 133 was 30 times more than 131 uh, in the ratio of creation. 129. Okay, we covered all of that. Okay, let's cover some more stuff. Well, let's call it a night. I suppose we'll call it a night. Let me get something in the background. We'll get rid of that. Let's play it in the background anyway. We'll back the trolley up a little tiny bit. Back that trolley up. I've got to come over and say good night to everybody. Hugs for everybody. And... What can I say outside of get myself back in the picture, Dana? Anytime you're ready, Dana. Oh, Dana, you got that done now, Dana. I got parallax on that too. I can't believe I've done that. Well, it was not supposed to be like that, but anyway, I'll jump that. Hi, everybody. I'm Tourist Frank, Elaine, Jan, Mitchell, Pam. Uh, Candace. Yeah, Seth Dorn should be called out from CBS, absolutely. Yeah, boy, Adam. Kate. Shani Ken. Oomph. I don't know who Oomph is, but hi, Oomph. I haven't got my glasses on, so I'm not going to try to read anything. Just looking for names. Say hi, good night, everybody. Good night, everybody. Terry Ann was down there, I know. Alex is down there, I know. Lots of people will show up later, I know. <laughs> yeah, hugs for everybody. Pretty tired. Pretty burnt out. The model you're looking at behind me, it's only based upon a couple of days' releases from a single reactor. It's not based upon the endless perpetual motion machine that it is. Not based upon spent fuel pools full of reactor cores that are just as deadly as the reactor core in a running reactor. There's no difference. And that Fukushima is worse than every oil spill combined. It's worse than every pollution, every piece of plastic ever released in the ocean combined. 
thousands and thousands and millions of times. Fukushima is an extinction event. Has already exterminated the Pacific Ocean. Four million species are missing throughout our coastline. That's documented in 15,000 models. You can find the documentation at the nuclear proctologist.org. And so hugs for everybody. We'll catch everybody next time. i got to go down. i got to be in court for Wednesday. And so the stalkers are waiting. They start stalking me. I need support. You can donate at PayPal if you can. It'll be a huge. And you can donate by typing in Dana Durnford at Hotmail.com. Or you can go to nuclearproctologist.org and donate with a credit card. And so we got to go down, get a hotel. It's going to take a couple of days. You got to get there a day early. And it's just that, you know, I got to get into that mode. We got to raise the money to keep doing the things we're going to do and want to do and are capable of doing. And that we don't have the nuclear industry to give us a million dollars here and a million dollars there. We don't have any pension plans or anything else. We have Dana. And that I'm doing the best job I can. And that I'm, I'm happy do that. I got no issues. I'll keep doing it. I'm just saying uh, I'm going to keep pushing to raise the money to get the Skype machine and for expenditures for going to court. I'm going to have to cover that. I don't have the money to cover that. And that that's why they smeared me the way they did to take that away from me. And that the money we did raise, I used it to buy the gear that we got right now because we couldn't get a lawyer. And that what, what else was I supposed to do? I wasn't going to waste it. And so the smart thing to do was get the equipment we needed. And I have no regrets whatsoever. Uh, and we're trying to raise enough now to get a $6,000 Skype machine and to cover our expenses coming up for the next couple of three-court appearances. And But but they're going to throw this out. There's no way they're intending to make it into the courtroom. That's absolutely guaranteed. I've gone through everything they got there. I can't understand why they even submitted it outside they had a corrupt judge and a corrupt prosecutor and Constable Steve Crux from the Sandish Police Department. That guy is 100% corrupt. He told me he watched 500 hours of my footage. I said, yeah, and you found two sentences that you used erroneously to get me arrested and that I'll be um, vindicated when I get my day in court and I'm looking forward to that. And so, once again, you can donate at the Nuclear Proctologist with uh, credit cards, legitimate, high-end uh, high site, high-end operation there. And the same thing at uh, PayPal.com. Type in Dana Durnford at Hotmail.com. That's how you do it. And you can donate there. It's easy to set up. Hugs for everybody. And we'll be back um, as quick as we can. Like I said, i got to be. I got to probably leave Tuesday to head down there because the court's at 9 o'clock in the morning or something. And so you got to spend the night down there, blah, blah, blah. And this was about stopping me producing a documentary after 260 days on the ocean and 15,000 miles of the coastline. But uh, that's not going to work. So we'll be back soon enough. Hugs for everybody. Take care, folks. Oh, missed me button. <laughs>